Okay, so Silvano's early establishing the stage control. Covering the whole stage in grass, making as options for poking from a range and also having a bit more of a safer home. Yeah, Just if, like that one. Mm -hmm. If you land on the grass, you have a lot less lag in all your moves, which is an extra bonus that you're going to have at Silvano's. And good recognition by Conde to know which side the down strong is going to send them. Yeah, that can be get pretty cool, but don't have much experience. And moving a little further down, 105% onto Conde, now 72, and that is a true combo that does Apsa. You see Penguin landing in all the time, Conde has been a master on it as well. You can really see Hyper trying to keep his distance, looking for openings, trying to stay safe. Mixing up his recoveries as much as he can. Doing Ooh. a really good job now with that down strong, eliminating on this first stop of the grand finals. So that's side B for those of you who are not aware. As soon as you get ahead, you can cancel it with a jump and then you can automatically do another option. But only if it hits. Trying to go for a little more movement in stage control and uh, establishing a really good place. Hyper is. And an up strong and actually take away that stock. Now as soon as you eliminate or take away Silvano's stock, all the grass and flowers on the field disappear. It really just makes him start from zero again. It's, it's a bit annoying. Nothing that Hyper cannot handle considering he has a four firm lead on 141% and that oh. down strong is going to do it. It looks like Konge might have been mixed up by the DI that was needed for that down strong. Gonna send him flying away with his own down strong. Or another one just to cover the options. Because as soon as the Silvanos actually lands on the ground, another up air by Golden to take over the suck and pretty much just keep it even. Atta just has amazing coverage above her. Her anti her up air as an anti-air for Silvanos is doesn't have a lot to come down with. They're gonna hit him with a C spot onto the fair and just Combo, oh, Silvanos. You're going to need to do that against the plant dog. And 100% now 50. Ooh. The up air is not going to connect that time. Conde is just on pursuit and learning how to weave and bop his way around Silvanos' offense. That was a very good usage by Hyper for the up tilt as an anti-air. Pretty much even so far. But fair for 105%. Getting into the last stock situation, high percents for both players. It can be very dangerous for both of them to engage right now. Gonna get him with a little bit of that cheese. Setting up the cloud thunders. 151% actually trying to go back. Dash attack sending him to the side, 123%. A good cloud trying to get him out of the way. Conde needs just a firm hit. And this is a situation where Silvanos can have a little bit of a difficulty if he cannot find that hit to eliminate that stock. They're just, they're keep trading safe hits, but nobody manages to confirm something big yet. Actually going for the quick attack. Trying to go for the anti-air one more time. The cloud is going to set him up. I just almost with the up air dash attack is not going to hit it. They it does the connect. And the sweet spot onto that second hit of the up air. Hyper taking that first game. Manages to catch him with just the second hit. Yep, and if you actually hit him with that particular move, the second one, not the first one, just the second one, yeah. it has more knockback. Oh, that's an interesting fact about the bot. So he was going to die either way, whether or not he got both. Yeah, yeah, they were both pretty high risk yeah. percent. Any, any big hitter was going to get any of them. It was a pretty amazing first game. Last hot, last, last hot, last hit. They're going for the up air. Confirm. 89% onto Tower of Heaven. Going to have multiple platforms, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for Silvanos to get uh, the grass offense going, especially if you're going to use the little seeds. 
the mid, but as we say that, Hyper has been establishing great ledge guarding. Onto the down strong after the parry connects. So good recognition on Conde, good defensive option. Oh, that was a fantastic hit. You parry the cloud, and automatically, as soon as you get parried, you go into the falling animation. You can't really do much except try to move yourself on top of the stage or try to get a wall jump. Yeah. Pony was way oh. too far. He got punished for it. He tries to read uh, the tech in, or maybe the DI with a down smash, but completely whips. Oh. They're going for down strong 92%, and the sweet spot fair. Bonde was actually trying to drift away, which is why it was such a clean hit. Actually gets that stock. Oh! oh! Off the top, at the very top. And these two have been playing really, really good rivals of Ether. You can really see how they just don't stop applying the pressure. It doesn't, it's just relentless, both of them. Yeah, they do not like to slow it down. Thunder's uh, cloud placements are also fantastic. He's catching him uh, up being at pretty high speed. Look at the aggression by Hyper as well as soon as he's going mm -hmm. for the edge guard. He's throwing out fares. And you know he's going to come back, especially in this stage. I really like how he's been doing first hit a jab into waiting, seeing how he reacts, trying to catch his options, and waiting for maybe a parry to run out. That's something that we can all apply as well. Mm -hmm. Trying to get those empty hops in and actually bait out the jab so you can bait out the parry and then you can just um, jab check them. Yeah, and this, this game is a fast game, but also rewards being patient. 98%! Oh! Goes for the parry, but misses it barely. They're trying to get that and Konde ties it up. For those of you that don't know, Rivals of Ether is available on the Nintendo Switch. We highly recommend you get the Steam version. It has rollback netcode. It has multiple awesome characters. An active community. It That's also includes access to the workshop, which is a community-based project where they can make their own characters and you can play them. It's a very good game. And if you want to stick around, then you can learn the options of this game while we wait for Rivals 2, which is in development. Hopefully coming to you in 2024, 3D graphics and a lot more similar to what we're used to in regards to Smash and Herod in general. Nevertheless, pretty early lead done by Hyper. 92% for 58, but now it's on this turn to just draw the cloud and just try to get some damage in. Is not the eye the down strong properly takes away that first stop. That, that was actually a pretty fantastic mix up by Hyper. He kind of tried to uh, pretend like he crossed up, but he did it. And he really messed around with uh, with on this perception of where he had to be eye for that one. 53% all the way up to 61, and Hyper is starting to dominate a little more. He taking really advantage. Like how he's trying to go for these berries on the clouds. He's getting hit by it a lot. And that's a, an amazing uh, response to them. Yes. Uh, and adaptation. Going for but it. Thunder doesn't let up either. Going on the offensive now. Okay, so, yeah, that's definitely something Ooh. different that we're seeing from Hyper. He's being a lot more defensive. But not, leave, not leaving that aggression that was actually so signature for mm -hmm. his wins and his bracket runs as well. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that he's the, he's generally a very aggressive player. It's pretty impressive to see from a from a very like zoning kind of character at Silvano. But he just makes it work. Yeah, he just loves to get in people's faces and start wailing on him nonstop, just like that. That conversion was amazing. 42% off of that. Just a couple of hits. We're going for the dash attack after using down B, side B into the forward tilt. When they find the counter with the forward tilt and get them off stage. 180% onto the Silvanos. This is going to be the problem. And do consider this was oh. a counter pick done by Hyper trying to place a statement and get this three stock situation on hold. But one went away almost for bracket reset. Oh, catches him up there. Uh, three stock. So the coverage by the Silvanos has been fantastic. 
the stage made a huge difference, especially Absolutely. since he can just drift back, wait for Conde to actually get some options in, and then he can actually go forward. I really liked seeing how he would use the seed with the neutral beat to try to kind of push him out, to have to recover from outside, not just land in and have to fight for stage control. Yeah, he and a lot, of, onto it. a lot of the recoveries as well have been on this lower side, mm. either left or right, or right on the lower side. So forcing Conde to actually go into those um, offensive recoveries when it comes to vertical upwards, it's a lot better for him to actually get more coverage. Yeah, he can definitely push in a lot better. Oh, falls the tech away with the hair. 79%, so it's a difference of only 30. However, one win away for bracket reset. When they just start trying to establish the rhythm one more time, just using those clouds. I'm going for that one more time, so it's jab, jab, beat. Gonna throw some paddles down. You can really see how patient Konda's trying to play. He's trying to just kind of oh. keep away, but ooh. Yep. Definitely Hyper's aggression. You know, I gotta say, Hyper's tag is just perfect for him. Yeah. He really is just on him the whole time. Oh, oh, that was a sick conversion. Down smash into the cloud. It's, it's a shame he didn't get a, a, a direct stat of it, but he does land the kill with an up air. 35% onto Conde. Actually trying to get the combos in. One, two. Now, do... Keep in mind, people, this game does not have staling. So you just throw out that up air as many times as he wants, and oh. that sweet spot fair to take away that stock so quick as well. It's such a small hitbox, but Sylvanos is so huge, it's it's kind of unfortunate. And such good momentum change as well. Rivals of Ether in particular is very momentum-based. Sweet spot back air. Taking away Conde's stock just like that. The strongest back air in the game. That was... It was really good by Hyper. Just answering back. And again, momentum shift completely. You can definitely see it. As soon as he connected that back air, he's just on the offense. He hasn't had to really play around Conde much. He's making Conde play around him. And now, it's Conde oh. started actually... Get some weight into that balance. Ooh, Ooh I love that. Dance, yes, you mentioned that before, Pogo. Actually, using that jab to bait out a reaction waits for the rolling down strong. So good. It really is such a, a, a good idea for the engage because the worst case scenario, you get parried so you get out or you just kind of run away if you see they're going to get a counter hit or maybe just land your own parry. And with that win, Hyper actually takes the bracket reset. We're back into grand, grand finals. The final finals. Both players on losers side this. It really does come down to just this. So, pretty good 3-1 done by Hyper. Trying to set up the edge guard situation one more time, but it's pretty even percent so far. I really like seeing how he waited for that to, for the parry instead of trying to use up tilt as an anti air. Oh, but he does get pushed off stage. He's getting kind of bullied out. A sweet just, spot back air. That's all it takes. One conversion, one momentum switch. It really is such a fast paced game. Thunder was not anticipating either, which is why he was actually trying to drift back. So yeah, he got that sweet spot. You can kind of see he kind of DI'd downwards uh, by accident. That was just detrimental to his uh, stock. 89%. It's going to be important to get some extra credit in actually going for the down strong. Oh, Two! The double back and resetting off of the cloud hit. Good recognition from Hyper. That was incredible, like, reaction speed. I'm just going to throw it out. Oh. going to work. Got him with the Tomahawk forward smash, but he managed to regain stage control. And Hyper seems to be playing on a different level right now. The momentum from that last game not letting up. Gonna go for dash attacks and dominating the complete range of attacks as well. 
Oh, to go. we can't count Gonbe out. It's just quite yet. He's, He's very good at poking out with the clouds, trying to find the second hill, hill uh, forward tilt, and then converting him to up airs, and that's been getting him a lot. If there's any game that these types of comebacks are pretty Hyper much Gold. very existent, it is definitely Rivals of Evil. I really like seeing how Hyper isn't afraid to go all the way down there on off stage to try to guarantee the stock, especially considering he has uh, the stock lead. Oh, he actually forward. finished the jab this time and waits for the action afterwards. That was a really... Yeah, he has been getting, I think, everybody with that. Just waiting. Yeah, he's just conditioning them into jab and mixing up with just jab. What's going to be the next pick? Might go to Tower of Heaven effective immediately. Yep, that's going to be the pick. He did feel comfortable in Tower of Heaven, but Hyper is just smelling blood in the water. You can definitely tell that Hyper is really feeling himself right now. Getting used to it. I'm just trying to bait out a parry onto the cloud, but actually uses Duffy, and that should... Hmm. Surprised he didn't go for the down air. Yeah, that's what I thought he would go to or either. He tried it earlier in the previous game, too. Uh, although he did not... He wasn't able to connect it. Yeah, the two spot did not connect with especially the meteor hitbox. But the good down strong actually sending him to the left side, taking away that stock. 36%, now 42, but still a pretty fresh Silvano. Yeah, he's about to lap around uh, Conde's percent. Okay, pretty even. Percentages not now. Some more extra credit getting into hyper. More jabs and down tilts. Oh, that was sick. Thank you. That's it for 84%. Now it's going to be very important for Conde to actually Ooh. take that stock, but the up air is not going to hit. Conde's looking for anything to try to pop him up and try to get him for the up air. Which is only reasonable. It's his, one of his best options against him. Oh, he oh, knows what he's going to go for. He knows what? he's going to pop that cloud. Uses the parry. The only option that Conde is going to have is to wall jump. Hyper recognizes he goes for the down air. Oh, Gonda manages to catch the mix-up. That was such a late hit. He waited so long for that, and it worked very well for it. Good reactions by Gonda, but would it be enough to change the momentum of the bracket reset? Down one stock once again. Similar situation to the first game. We are seeing a little bit of the difference in Konde's approach, actually using other moves such as his upbeat, up special, ground a little more. I think this is a good opportunity to mention how well Hyper is just micro-spacing around Konde. He keeps wave dashing in and out, but they're very micro, like small spots, and he uh, air drifts a lot to try to just avoid small hitboxes just to get in and wait for a whip. Yeah, avoiding the cloud just like that is like, just like you mentioned, just micro movements. Just enough to actually not get hit by something that can cost him a stock. But stay close enough in to punish. He just playing the mid range so well. Absolutely. Which is a problem for Conde specifically because you do not want to play the mid range versus Silvanos. That's what you want. You Absolutely. want. Keep the pressure oh, up, but that is nice not back what air. you want to get hit by. Hyper 1 went away from taking Grand Finals of Rivals of Ether here and smashed the bracket. It's really interesting watching how they pick their stages. Uh, I've noticed that... Silvanos tends to try to stop small stages, but I can see how both characters would enjoy a lot of space. It really depends on the playstyle. Mm -hmm. I, for one, do not like short stages because I just feel suffocated, especially when I try to move around. Yeah, it definitely depends from um, character to character. Oh! Player to player. That was an amazing downer. Good recognition to know that he could go for that bit. He just stopped the juggle with a kill. Oh, the triple bop Almost one more. 
78%. Try to get hit as less as possible, Conde. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble again. Yeah, Conde needs to try to guarantee this stock as fast as possible. He can't let him lap him around. This is potentially his last, uh, last set of the tournament. 121% onto the Silvanos, still not getting those Ooh. kills. Henley managed to parry on the forward tilt. That's pretty fast reaction. Just oh, throwing no. out. One, two, three, four. Can I get a little more? Just walls of fair after fair. There is nothing you can do about oh. this. The lingering hitbox gets him. He gets him a little bit of a delay with the back air. You still have to watch out, though, uh, Conde. Even though he finally managed to close up the stock difference, there's still a huge percentage lead. Really in the eye, by the way, on that up air. Otherwise, that could have been a stock, but Conde actually trying to get some accumulation down in percentage. Yeah, that kill he just got might just be, oh, some momentum he needs, but that was definitely stopped right there. Conde potentially on his last stock of the tournament. Getting pushed out by Hyper. Oh, but managing to con get stage control again. Punishing his uppy with uh, with a uh, neutral B is fantastic idea because he can cover the ro uh, all of the motions of the uppy. Because the up Oh, going like, for it one more time. And to forward air into down air. Congratulations, Hyper. That was a fantastic losers run. Amazing reset into the three zero. -oh. Really, really, really well played good by stuff. both, but Hyper was just too good in the day. Taking away that first place, so just to round things up, first place Hyper, second place.